Here are a couple of basic true-false questions for Fourier series revision. Now you might underestimate the difficulty of some of these questions. Some of them are straightforward, some of them make you think a little bit more. So I just wanted to discuss them in a few minutes. There are five sub-questions, they're either true or false. Which one? Let's just go through them systematically and have a little chat about whether we think they're true or false. Now remember a Fourier series, just to jog your memory, is a special series involving cosines and sines. And the way you, say, compute a Fourier series is you compute the coefficients of those cosines and sines, the a noughts, the a n's, and the b n's. And you calculate those through integration. Okay, integration. Okay, well, let's see if we can uh, work through this one. Question one. We can use Fourier series to solve PDEs in engineering and applied science. Is it true or false? It's true. Yes. We can't solve all partial differential equations with them, but the ones that we've seen in this course, linear uh, PDEs, where you can separate the variables, yes, we've seen that you can use Fourier series. And in fact, this is how Fourier series first came about. So this is true. Uh, this one looks a little bit more harder. Let C be a constant and F be a function of one variable and period 2L, where L is some positive number. Suppose I can calculate the Fourier coefficients of F. Well, is the following statement true or false? If I have another function, C times F, where C is a constant, 2, 3, 5, minus pi. And I want to calculate the Fourier coefficients for this more general function. Can I just take the Fourier coefficients for F and multiply all their values by C? Is it true or false? Who thinks it's true? Hands up. Who's, who thinks it's false? Who's not sure? Okay. Well, it comes back to these, right? Suppose I had a C in here, a constant, some C, 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 right? So instead of F, F I've got CF, CF cos, CF sine. I know that with integrals, I can pull constants outside the integral sign. So it's just C times the integral. So yes, the statement is true. It is true. Okay, it just comes back to the basic properties of the integral. Let's say you know, let, let me give you a slightly more practical view. Let's say you know the Fourier series and, and um, you know, the coefficients of the Fourier series for the, the x function, right? It's periodic. Let's say you wanted to calculate the Fourier series for 2x. What you would do is take the coefficients, just multiply them by 2. No integration necessary. So that, that is true. If f's an even function with uh, period 2L, then its Fourier series contains sine functions only. It's false, right? And the reason... is this. When we represent even functions by Fourier sine series, we use even functions, cosine functions. We would only have a Fourier cosine series, not a Fourier sine series. So you're correct. This statement is false.
Okay? Suppose I've got two functions, f and g, and they both have the same period, 2L. The Fourier coefficient of the new function, f plus g, is just the sum of the corresponding coefficients from f. Is it true or is it false? Who thinks it's true? Who thinks it's false? Who's not sure? It's true. Again, it comes back to the basic properties of integrals. Okay, let me show you. So instead, so, so instead of having f here, imagine, imagine I had f plus g. I could break those, that sum up into two integrals. Okay? So, yes, it is true. So let's say, let's say you have, you know the Fourier series for x squared, and you know the Fourier series for 2x. If you want to calculate the Fourier series for x squared plus 2x, well, to get the coefficients, just add the corresponding coefficients together. So this is true. Okay, the last true-false question. Suppose, again, I've got two functions, f and g, both with the same period. The Fourier co then the Fourier coefficients of the new function f times g is just made up of the corresponding Fourier coefficients of f multiplied by the Fourier coefficients of g. Is it true or is it false? It's false. Why? Well, again, it comes back to these. If you have f times g in here, is that equal to the integral of f times the integral of g? No, not necessarily. So this is false.